Hi, I'm Pamela Parker. Welcome to my first video on how to do wardrobe. Diana made me do it. Hi, Mayfield. Anyway, uh, I just want to show you what, if you wear black and black together, how it looks. Um, it can be good. Um, then you are the most outstanding thing in the photo, but it can also make you look like you disappeared. Now, most likely you will be wearing, um, having a background that is white. So I want to show you what black on white looks like. Uh, one thing about that is then I become this little solid block. It's not very interesting and it doesn't show any personality. You're trying to show who you are in the photo. So that's what black on white looks like. What I recommend instead of just pure black, if you need to wear black or you only have black, then make sure that you have some kind of accent color underneath. So like a white because then all of a sudden there's something going on, there's interest. This is a V line right here, this is a V, and that elongates your neck and your face and it's very flattering. So uh, if you have to wear black, then wear something underneath. Layering is always, always good. Now I wanna show you what it looks like when you just have a, a white background um, with a white outfit on. So this is what it looks like, white on white good it's pretty good mostly because there's the interest in the V so there's one part about it there's a V there's a little um, there's some buttons there's a little edge on there now if you wore it closed like this it would be more um, it would just be like a floating head in the middle of a, a white sea so having a V actually elongates your face and even makes you look better so let's say you want to wear a black jacket um, but if you do have something, next time you go shopping, think about that. Um, have something that has some detail on it. This one has uh, white stitching on it. It's kind of hard to see, but it's right there. So in the photo, it's going to look, you know, more interesting. It actually adds a bit of style. And also having something white underneath is, again, nice. Ta-da! Okay, so if you have color, that's good. Color's good. It depends on your personality. Um, I have many different kinds of colorful jackets. Uh, for instance, I have red plaid. I wear this a lot. I love red plaid. And then if you want to go more traditional, then you go with a uh, you know worsted wool kind of jacket. Um, there's always a white jacket, but... You know, once again, white on white on white kind of disappears. So that's why you want to add color or um, layering. So if I was going to wear a, a white jacket, let's see if I can do this. If I was going to wear a white jacket, it would be a very good idea to wear some color. Maybe a purple tank top or green or blue um, accent color underneath. Color is awesome. It also sure shows your personality really well. So here is a white jacket, but again, it's good to have different layers just to show personality. You don't need a shirt like this fancy or weird underneath it. You just go black on white, but then it makes you disappear in here. So if you have a white tank, a blue tank, a red tank, um, a pink tank, so if you put a, like a pink tank top, underneath it just adds you know more interest and now we have three layers of clothing which makes it to me more interesting this is actually a scarf so I want to show you a lot of people like to wear scarves and then what happens is the scarf takes over the picture and then really all you can see is the scarf right even if you wear it tight then all of a sudden it cuts off your neck and it's just, I don't think it's as flattering as it could be. This picture is about you, not about your clothes. These are accents. Oh, here's another jacket that I really, really love. Only because it's so unique. But it is blue and white. So this really shows up really nicely. And it's plus a, a bolero jacket, which I love. So anyway, I guess that's it for um, the black and white wardrobe scenario. I hope you learned something. And thanks for watching. See you um, next week.